Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Kidman Souls of Brooklyn in Sarasota. Uh, we had the eye of the storm coming uh, within about four or five miles from where we live. I'm going to show you a little bit. We only lost our screen on our outdoor patio, so it wasn't so bad. So let me turn you around to show you some of what uh, our place looks like. So our outdoor bottom screen survived, but this top screen is mangled, I think. Yeah, it's this top screen. So I'll have to pull that down, replace that. Bottom seems okay, but if you look out over here, you can see all these floodwaters that developed. You know, it's funny, the ducks and the animals actually love these. These are receding in about a day or so, but the trees here did really, really well. A lot of older trees in our area. We're gonna go out and show you more of Sarasota. We're gonna get in the truck. We have no phone service right now, no internet service, no power. That's the only thing. Captain, I've got no power, but we're gonna go out and check it out. So stay tuned. So we're heading around Sarasota today. The most dangerous thing, we have no power at our house or internet, but the most dangerous thing around Sarasota, we've seen lots of car accidents. Most of the traffic lights are out. So we're here, we're gonna check on my brother-in-law and um, see how he's doing because he's in a, was in a low-lying area. So I'm gonna show you lots of uh, what we see today. And uh, stay tuned, stay tuned. So, as you can see, we're gonna show you a lot more because this is kind of like nothing. Look at this tree that was just completely upended. I mean, this was probably the worst hurricane I've ever seen. It hit three miles from where we live. So lots of, obviously lots of tree branches down. Lots of destruction to like a lot of the local stores. But this is kind of like, to say this is nothing, it's not really appropriate. But I'm going to show you things as you continue on in this video. And things that I've never seen before. Traffic lights upended and just kind of crazy. So stay tuned. So we're here on Tamiami Trail. We figure we get my brother-in-law a burger. Uh, this is Sarasota Memorial Hospital. We came here figuring that the uh, cell towers will be working. Look at some of the devastation here on their side signs are down and look so hurricane milton aftermath we're here at uh, sarasota memorial hospital we came here um just to get some cell tower service we're gonna go to see my brother-in-law he's in an a area low-lying area here in tamiami we're gonna get him a cheeseburger we don't know what you know how the food's been doing over there but look at the damage this wendy's took and uh, this is just minimal in terms of what you're really seeing out there but Stay tuned for the aftermath coverage of Hurricane Milton. So folks, props to Wendy's. It's the, literally the only restaurant in Sarasota that's open. And it is a mob scene here in Sarasota, but we were able to get the burger for um, my brother-in-law. And uh, guess who else is getting something to eat? What do you think, Carrie, for Wendy's? Only place open in all of Sarasota. Wendy's is as good as anything. Time to eat. Hi, Louis. See when she eats, she's in a much better mood. Look at that. All right, folks, so we're gonna eat this quick, bring this over to Kevin, and uh, continue on. So uh, we're gonna stay with, I'm not gonna show you the nursing home thing, but I'm gonna show you uh, a lot of the stuff in and around Sarasota, because where, where his place is, it's kind of like we head into St. Armand Circle, um, right off of Tamiami, and we hear that the bridge is out, the, um, the John Ringling Bridge, which is gonna be a pain for me, because means when I go back to work tomorrow, I'm gonna have to go all the way up to Cortez Road and go the really long way back onto the island. But anyway, I gotta be thankful for what we have. So stay tuned. So check this out, the line. Like I said, this is like the only place open in Sarasota. Look at this uh, drive-through for Wendy's. And it's growing by the minute. Hey dear, where's the beef? So a big shout out to our doctors and nurses in the area. A lot of the nurses stayed over. There's one leaving Sarasota Memorial right there. A big shout out to everybody for what doing what they do. So here at the Yummy House on 1737 Tamiami, what's left of their sign just eviscerated. Crazy. Hi, 
as you can see, most of the gasoline stations are either completely closed or out of gas. This one is both out of gas. They just these guys are just hanging out in here. I guess just taking a break or something from driving on the road or whatever. But this Circle K is definitely 100% shut down. Talk about crazy and unsafe. Here's a guy filling up his car. This is the busiest street. This street, Tamiami Trail, goes all the way to Miami from way up north in Tampa. And the guy is topping off his tank with extra gasoline in the middle of this busy road. In unbelievable. Of residents I guess couldn't get here last night so whoever couldn't make it is coming to this is the main hospital this one and Tampa General are the two main hospitals around the area so the guy stopped when he heard that siren he's back out again now unbelievable I mean by far and away the most dangerous thing I've seen with traffic lights that aren't working and he stops right here and he does this in front of a hospital He's in front of a hospital, but Jesus. And he's got all gas in the back of that thing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So check this devastation out here. We're over at Jack's Marina. I was going over to check out the John Ringling Bridge, which is, this is downtown Sarasota right here. And I wanted to see what my deal is going to be tomorrow when I go to work at Longboat. And figured I'd stop over here at Jack's Marina, one of the places Karen and I love to walk around. We always bring visitors here. But look at this. Um, there's a huge, here's some tree devastation. There's a big sailboat down the other end that I'm going to show you that's literally completely out of the water up against the dock. It's a miracle that more of these boats didn't suffer any damage. I'm so glad this is still standing. One of my favorite things in Sarasota commemorating the victory over Japan for, v -E -J, for VJ Day. Famous scene that happened right on Broadway. Years later, the nurse and the, they, they looked for so long for the nurse and the Navy sailor because they just was a random kiss. And uh, they actually found them. You could look that up. So it's pretty fascinating. But um, this is one of my favorite things in all of Sarasota. So I'm still at Captain Jack's, or rather Marina Jack, as they call it. I keep saying Captain Jack. Must be thinking of Disney as always. But you're going to, let me check, show you some devastation here with these ships, boats. Look at this thing here. This is literally on the pavement. I don't know whose boat this is, but this is a total, man. Everyone's gathering around the sea. It's one that's worse than this, if you could believe it. This is right on the marina, right on the sidewalk. Hey, man. So this, again, is one of our favorite spots to come to. It's, Again, it's um you can take all your dolphin cruises from here uh, in fact the guy who owns Suntex really nice uh, this guy he donated a $500 gift certificate this year for us for our foundation really cool guy but again I don't know whose boat this is but wait till you see some more stuff over here you're not gonna believe so stay tuned so if you've never been to Jack's Marina or Marina Jack one of the more popular marinas in the world. About a mile straight ahead, you've heard me say this if you watch my videos, ACDC famous singer Brian Johnson lives over at Bird Key. That's a low-lying area. I'm sure they've suffered some damage over there. But just another thing to know about Sarasota, how cool it is. But let's check out this boat that literally is up on the sidewalk over here too. It's a yacht, I believe. So check this out. This is a yacht called the Indigo out of Sarasota. And this thing, look at it. Talk about the strength of Hurricane Milton, which hit probably about a mile from here, a mile south of here. Unbelievable. Look at this. Again, I don't know whose ship this is, but holy cow. Let's get close. God, I think these are the owners right here. I feel so sorry for these people. Oh, man. Trying to cordon off their, their boat. Man. I 
and nothing worse. You got so many people, me filming it. Everybody in creation is here checking this out. It's like the worst moment. And um, oh, I do not know how it feels like, unfortunately. Man. Well, this is something physical, can be replaced, but holy cow. So we'll get an angle from this side. And look at this one. There's another one up on the deck here, up on the grass. But the indigo, and it looks like the indigo crashed into the front of this other one here. So we didn't really or did it? Know what to the wolf. I don't know if the wolf got any damage, but this one here. Uh, yeah. So this one crashed into the front of the wolf. Minimal damage on the wolf, but this one. We got a news crew right behind me too. Check it out. This one's called the Carpe Diem. The Carpe Diem 2, which if memory serves, um, what does it mean? Live for today? Or it was in the famous movie, wasn't it? Um, Carpe Diem, Carpe Diem. Latin. I should be better at my Latin. But it means, I think, to live for today or something. Look at that. Unbelievable. Everyone's out just walking around surveying the area. It's amazing more of these things haven't done this. I guess I'm imagining this one wasn't anchored properly. That's what I'm thinking. There's a little view of Bird Key. I'm going to go walk over here, see if that John Ringling Bridge, if anybody's going over it. Let's walk over here. Maybe we'll see some pelicans or something. So check this out. We got Boo Boo. Chasing a squirrel. Hi, Boo Boo. Where's the squirrel? He's must be high up. 15 year old Boo Boo. Still spry. Is she a cattle dog? Part cattle, part chihuahua, part Nazi. Okay. We just recently had a, our Bichon pass away, so me and my wife love watching the dog shows and pretty good at identifying them. Adorable. Yeah, good call. Oh, thank you. Al, by the way, how are you? Hey, Brandon and Hillary. Welcome to Kinder Souls of Brooklyn and Sarasota, our YouTube channel. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Excellent. You, you guys are okay after the hurricane and all? Milton. Yeah. What do you think of these boats up on the grass so, and this stuff? This is the first time I saw her come to sunny Florida. Oh, you, you visit us from outside? Yeah. yeah. Where, where from? Illinois. Nice. Well, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> well, it's usually, it's, it's still nice as you can see, but it's usually a little calmer than this. Are you guys music fans? Sure. Do you know Brian Johnson from, eight, well, no, ACDC, Brian yeah. Johnson, the lead singer? He lives right over there on Bird Key, right on the yeah. other side of the bridge. Yeah, they got it bad. They did. They really uh, did. Uh, before he died, Jerry Springer lived over there, too. Yes, and indeed, absolutely. I think maybe Angus has a house over there, but it's a little less publicized. So they don't want, you know, annoying people like me doing videos over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for joining us. Bye, Boo Boo. Bye, Boo Boo. Check this out an actual newscast. So that's how a pro newscaster does it, but hey, I'm the man on the street, so 
they're doing it our way. Um, hey, you know what? Maybe one day. That's like the thing. One day have a crew go out, but who knows? But anyway, stay tuned. I hope you're enjoying the video. And this is the fun thing about having a video channel is that you get to come out. I love working with people and I love, you know, being out and, you know, not in this for this kind of situation because this is devastating. But like the point is you get out and amongst everybody and it's a lot of fun and you get to meet a lot of different people and animals and you name it and things. So highly recommend the YouTube channel for you. Hopefully it's not too windy interfering with the audio. It probably is, but we're going to move on now to see us. The kid is really good. He's really good. All right, maybe we'll get him for an event for the foundation. What do you think? Here's another common sight again, people transporting gasoline because gasoline is still short over here. Very common sight. Hey folks, so I'm gonna close this video. We're out ice hunting right now in Publix, about the only thing that's open, but no ice in Publix. Uh, all the gasoline stations are closed because we still have no power. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, not enjoy, but you know, just I got to see what was going on here in Sarasota. So um, thanks for checking in with us. Appreciate you. Love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.